hey hey alias here with the new script release this script creates uh, road flares or torches or however you want to call them by the way to see the scripts i uh, released uh, so far have a look on my youtube channel steam page or browse armaholic forums also if you want to stay updated make sure you subscribe or follow me on steam and twitter now talking about the script i use as a vehicle for uh, these uh, flares the cam lights. There are not so many throwable objects uh, to choose from in uh, vanilla, so uh, I settled for uh, the red cam lights. With uh, this script you can still use the blue, yellow and uh, green cam light as uh, regular cam lights, but uh, the red cam light will work as a road flare. Before explaining how the flares work, I will talk about the cam light tweak featured in this script. So in order to make the cam lights more useful, I made them much brighter, as you can see here. However, if you don't want this feature, you can disable it and use the regular vanilla cam lights. To disable or enable this feature, open up any Roadflare SQF file and here you'll notice a public variable called alcam. If uh, this variable is true, you'll be using the enhanced uh, cam lights. If it's false, you'll be using the vanilla cam lights. By the way, I think one of the reasons the vanilla cam lights are not so bright is because their uh, light source sinks in the ground most of the time. I will uh, show you very quickly what uh, made me think that is the case. I'll, I'll throw a few cam lights uh, on the ground since that uh, their uh, light source uh, position is relative to the cam light vehicle and I'll throw a uh, cam light somewhere higher so you can see the difference as you can see when the cam light is well above the ground it's brighter than the one laying down this should be an easy fix for Bohemia they just need to tweak the light source uh, position now with uh, this out of the way let's talk about the road flares uh, parameters in any road flare SQF, we have as a first parameter the flare brightness. Change its value as you see fit for your mission and the atmosphere you want to create. Then we have the range illuminated by flare, which is expressed in uh, meters and again is something you can set. The last parameter is the flare uh, lifetime currently set for 600 seconds but I will change this to 15 seconds and uh, have a quick look As you can hear, for the sake of uh, diversity, I used several different uh, set of sounds for flares, so it wouldn't feel so mechanical and, and hear the same sound every time. When the flare uh, burns off, the light and particles uh, start diminishing and the object uh, will be eventually deleted. As you can see, you can lay down as many flares as you want without uh, impacting the performance, but you have to be careful and test uh, the limits if you're using other special effects scripts or uh, mods. So please share your test results uh, with me or give feedback if you get interesting or bad results. As usual, you can run the script from init uh, SQF file, as you can see in the showcase mission. And uh, I think this is all about the script. If you have uh, feedback or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Until next uh, script release, have fun and happy editing!